This tutorial discusses the various options for modeling water pressure in S-Wedge. In S-Wedge, water pressure can exist on the slope faces when ponded water is present and or on the joints when joint water is present. Let's start with the default model that appears when you open S-Wedge. Select Analysis Input Data. We will keep the values in the slope tab unchanged. Select the joints tab and only make changes for joint one. Change dip to 35 degrees. Click apply. Notice that the factor of safety changes from 0.9886 to 1.2683. Select the Water tab and click on the Joint Water Pressure checkbox. We will leave the default unit weight. The following pressure distribution models are available for modeling water pressure on the joints. The main difference between each model is the location of the peak water pressure. For a more detailed overview of each model, you can check out our online help. To start, we will use the default peak pressure beneath crest model. Change the percent filled to 75%. Select OK to close the dialog. Notice that the factor of safety decreases to 0.9266. Going back to the water tab, click on the ponded water checkbox. We will leave the default unit weight. There are two slope face types in S-Wedge which affect the way water pressure is computed in the joints. The slope face type has no impact on the way in which ponded water pressure is calculated on the slopes. For impervious slope face, the joint water pressure is computed based on the water pressure distribution model selected. Completely independent, of the ponded water depth. And for the pervious slope face, the joint water pressure is computed based on the ponded water depth. For now, we will use the default impervious slope face type. Change the ponded water depth to 20 meters. We will keep the default HU value of one. Select OK to close the dialog. Notice that the factor of safety increases to 1.1527. In this case, the ponded water is acting as a stabilizing force on the wedge. Going back again to the water tab, change the slope type to pervious. The pressure distribution model for joint water pressure is unavailable when pervious slope face is selected. Select OK to close the dialog. Notice that the factor of safety decreases to 1.0592. Now that our model is complete, let's take a look at the results. The ponded water pressure and joint water pressure input is recorded in the info viewer. You can see them under the headings ponded water pressure data and joint water pressure data, respectively. There are three options for viewing the water forces applied to a wedge. In the display options dialog, you can choose to display water forces, wetted area, and water contours. You can also choose the water force display color in the display options dialog. Select view, display options. The water option will draw arrows pointing to the joint and or slope planes. Select the wetted area option and click OK. Notice that 75% of the slope is filled and the slope is ponded to 20 meters. Going back to the display options dialog, if you select water contours option, and click OK. 
Notice how the water pressure contours are now parallel to the water surfaces. The water pressure contour legend is shown by default when water pressure exists. To turn off the water pressure contour legend, uncheck the legend option and click OK. Sensitivity analysis is a very useful feature of S-Wedge, which allows you to quickly determine the effects of any input variable on the factor of safety. There are three pressure-related sensitivity analysis options, ponded water depth, water unit weight, and percent filled. We will focus on water percent filled. Select the sensitivity option from the toolbar or analysis menu. Select analysis, sensitivity. Select the first checkbox in the sensitivity input dialog. Select water percent filled from the drop down of variables to plot. Set the range from 25 to 100. Click OK. You will see a sensitivity plot of factor of safety versus water percent filled. Right-click the plot and select the sampler option from the pop-up menu. Drag the sampler until you obtain a factor of safety of approximately 1. The corresponding water percent filled of 79% is displayed. This concludes the tutorial.